Hi, boys and girls. I want to share one of my favorite books with you today. This story is called Jeremiah Learns to Read. Jeremiah knew how to build a split rail fence, and he knew how to make buttermilk pancakes, but he didn't know how to read. Jeremiah knew how to make a table out of the tree or make sweet syrup from its sap, but he didn't know how to read. Jeremiah knew how to grow beautiful tomatoes, long green cucumbers, and juicy cobs of corn. He knew the tracks of the animals and the signs of the seasons, but he didn't know how to read letters and words. I want to learn to read, he said to his brother Jackson one day. You're an old man, Jeremiah said Jackson. You have children and grandchildren, and you can do almost anything. But I can't read, said Jeremiah. Well, you can learn, I suppose, said his brother. But Jeremiah, who is going to teach you? I want to learn to read, Jeremiah said to his wife, Juliana, that evening. You're just wonderful the way you are, said Juliana, as she worked on her knitting. But I can be even better, he said. Fine, said his wife. I know you can learn. Then you can read to me, she smiled at him. I want to learn to read, Jeremiah said to his old sheepdog. The old dog just looked at him, then lay down on the rag rug by Jeremiah's feet. But how will I learn, Jeremiah said. My brother can't teach me. My wife can't teach me, and you, old friend, can't teach me either. How will I learn? Jeremiah thought and thought, feeling discouraged, but then an idea came to him, and his face broke out into a broad smile. The next day, Jeremiah got up at sunrise and did all his morning chores. Then he washed his hands and his face, combed his hair and his beard, and put on his favorite shirt. He made biscuits and gravy with sliced tomatoes for breakfast and packed a sandwich for his lunch. Then he kissed Juliana goodbye and walked out the door. He joined a group of children walking down the tree-shaded lane. When they went into the schoolhouse, Jeremiah went in too. Mrs. Trumbull smiled with surprise when she saw him. I want to learn to read, he told her. Mrs. Trumbull pointed at an empty seat, then Jeremiah sat down. Class, she said. We have a new student today. Please welcome Jeremiah. Jeremiah started by learning the letters and the sounds they made. Jeremiah tried hard, especially with the vowels. The children helped him practice at recess, and to thank them, he showed them how to chirp like a chickadee and honk like a goose. Soon, Jeremiah was learning to read words. He studied his lessons carefully. He practiced his writing every day. Jeremiah loved it when the teacher and the older children read out loud to the class. Sometimes he drew pictures to go along with the stories while he listened. Jeremiah was learning, but he was teaching, too. He showed the Miller twins how to whittle with a pocket knife. He taught Mrs. Trumbull how to make applesauce and how to whistle through her teeth. After a while, Jeremiah was putting words together and writing his own stories. He wrote about the time he saved a baby squirrel. He wrote about swimming in the river with his brother Jackson. He wrote about the day he met his wife. Juliana watched Jeremiah practice his writing at the table after summer one night. When are you going to read to me, she asked him. When the time is right, he answered. 
One day, Jeremiah took a book of poems home from school. Jeremiah hid the book under his pillow. That night, when he and Juliana went to bed, he pulled it out and showed it to her. Listen, he said. He read a poem about the soft petals and sweet smell of roses. He read a poem about the crashing waves at the seashore. He read a poem about love. Juliana looked into her husband's gray eyes. Oh, Jeremiah, she said, I want to learn to read. Jeremiah smiled at Juliana. First thing after breakfast, my love. And Jeremiah turned off the light. The end. So boys and girls, the lesson here is that you're never too old to learn something new. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope you practice reading each and every night with your family. Take care.